hello everyone welcome to my GIS learning channel today we learn how to generate map which shows the percentage of the population exposed to flood hazard so for this tutorial I will use QGIS 3.10.2 version you can download it as it is a free software and in the entire tutorial I will use this data that is population data of Bangladesh 2021 and this is the study area boundary this is the flood hazard data of 200 years return period it is 1000 meter resolution and this is the flood hazard data this is the build up area of the study area and it is 100 meter resolution data you can uh, find this data I will provide a link in the description below you can download it and uh, practice this tutorial at home so let's start first let's change the symbology of the study area for this double click on here and after that go to the simple fill select the this one simple outline okay you can choose the color and uh, stroke width uh, increase this stroke width little bit let's 0.5 apply now it is clearly visible uh, first of all i will clip the build up area with the help of this study area boundary so for this here type clip and select this one clip raster by mask layer okay the input layer will be this one the build up cover fraction layer and it is uh, in a geographic projection system uh, that is um, EPHG4326 and mask layer will be the bangladesh boundary layer actually and it is also in the same geographic projection system epsg 4326 uh, all this data contain the similar unit that is decimal degree after that in the clipped mask name the output layer let's say build up and save it then run it we are removing this layer as I already clipped the layer with the boundary file now the next step is reclassify this build up area so here the build up area range from 1 to 100 and 0 is the maybe the no data value so i will reclassify the build up area as one and no data as zero for this to type reclassify this one reclassify here select the input raster build up area clip that i am clipping recently and in the classes rule text type here the rule that is zero will be zero and one 1 through 100 equal to 1 so the build up area containing the value 1 to 100 will be 1 after that save the reclassified file build up reclassified then run it now close it so here is our reclassified data let's go to the properties click on the classify and apply so here one is the build up area zero is the non build up area now the next step is apply gaussian image filtering and the gaussian image filtering will be applied to the build up area which is used to estimate the population density of each administrative boundary by considering the characteristic of each area. It is a image smoothing technique which helps to transform pixel population density into normalized value. Uh, if I discuss it 
uh, it will be a long tutorial but you can check my blog I will write there in detail if you have any problem you can check my blog where I will try to explain in detail okay now I am applying the Gaussian filtering uh, as it is used to estimate the population density of boundary letter so here I am typing Gaussian filter now select the build up area reclassify it and the standard deviation 1 search mode choosing I am choosing the circle and search radius typing the 5 and the filter grid save it here Gaussian filter save it and run it now close it uh, this is our new data that is built gaussian filter and let's check it this is what the gaussian filter is doing okay now let's uh, remove this build up area clip oh. before uh, removing this i will show the proper uh, on the properties of all my shape file so for this go to information uh, you will find this here this is in decimal degree unit and this is the projection system okay and this is the pixel size and uh, this is the uh, flood hazard data it is in grid file this is the build up area uh, and this is the um, boundary in shape file and it is also in the same projection geographic projection system and in it is the degree decimal now let's remove this this is our build up area reclassified data and the build up area after applying the gaussian filter okay, now we will work with the flood hazard data turn on this this is the flood hazard of 200 years return period data here i will use the flood hazard data of 200 years return period and uh, it is recommended to use it for large area if you have a small area you can use smaller return period flood hazard data like uh, 50 years 10 years 25 years you can check those data i will provide in the link you can download from the link okay so first i will clip this flood hazard data with this boundary so for this again here type clip clip raster by mask here i will select this one hazard data of 200 years return period and the mask clear is the Bangladesh boundary the source and target coordinate reference system select this one this is the geographic projection system WGS84 after that save your data flood hazard clip then run it flood hazard data is now clipped with this boundary data so the next step uh, here the flood hazard data the resolution is as i already said this uh, it is 1000 meter okay you will find this information here for this analysis we have to resemble flood hazard pixel to the dimension of the pixel in the build up area so the pixel resolution i mean the resolution should be same for these two data in this analysis so for this i will copy the resolution from here export click on export and save as you will find the resolution information horizontal and vertical here just copy this now open this one and export save as 
output mode row format geotip save the file name here flood hazard resample okay and save it and in the resolution paste the value that you copied from the build up area reclassify it in the horizontal and vertical option after completing this click on ok this is the flood hazard it is in our old data if you check the resolution it is now changed in our new data so now re i am removing the old data as it is no need anymore the next step is we have to classify this flood hazard resample data this can be the no data value or no flood and here it is the highest flood all the value are in centimeter here is the maximum water height 7 and 720 centimeter first i will reclassify this data okay type reclassify now use the flood hazard resample in the reclass rules text type here i'm considering 5 centimeter to 721 centimeter uh, these are the flood area and less than 5 centimeter i'm not considering this as flood area so i'm typing here 5 through 720 and typing here 721 let's say equal to 1 now save this data type name here flood hazard reclassify it save it and then click on run so here is our new raster layer I'm closing it go to the properties symbology reclassify it apply flood hazard a reclassified uh, raster layer this is the total inundation area for the flood and now we can remove this old data next step we will work with our census data this is our census data it's in excel file the division and the population and this is the id if i open the boundary attribute information you will also see this here this is the object id name of the division okay we will join this excel file information in the attribute table in this shape file so for this we need two common column in order to make the join i'm ascending it so it will mess with this information so first you have to add this excel file here and then go to properties then click on join it will automatically select the excel file and the join field and the target field these are the similar column and the join field i only need the population information click on ok and apply so let's open the attribute table you will see this is the population information now i will create new field click on here type the name let's say population is the int field type is keep it as whole number here select this one field and value from here choose this one after that click on ok now this population information is transferred to our new field called population mm, let's save it 
now let's remove the join to join select this one okay apply we do not need this remove layer if i open the attribute table we will see that population field is here now our next step is the create population raster with the help of this population field so for this i'm going to the raster and then conversion then vector to raster we are choosing this boundary shape file and the field that will be used is the population okay fixed value keep it as by uh, by default keep it as default output raster size unit choose the this one geo referenced unit and in the horizontal resolution let's again copy the value from here copy this and uh, paste it here and also paste in the vertical resolution option and the output extent click this one use layer extend i will use the extend of this build up area reclassified okay so i'm choosing this one then click on ok name the output raster here population raster and it's a temporary data after that click on ok now close it here is our population raster layer the next step we will use zonal statistic in order to sum the build up area for each zone let's turn off this layer turn on this layer with the help of this zonal statistic we will actually sum up this build up area in the corresponding boundary this is the administrative boundary here the total build up area we will uh, acquire this information with the help of this journal statistic so for this type here journal statistic click on here in the raster layer i will select build gaussian filter raster band band one and vector layer containing the zone this vector layer that i have the zone and the output column here type the field name sum and in the statistic to calculate only keep this one sum for that click ok then run this okay close it now open this bangladesh boundary attribute we will find a new field here this one build up sum this is the total build up area in the corresponding boundary we collect with the help of journal statistic our next step is we will convert that information into raster okay so for this again go to raster conversion rasterize bangladesh boundary select this uh, shape file and field that will be used this one build up sum output raster size unit choose this one geo referenced unit and the horizontal and vertical resolution again copy this value from here Resol I am uh, keeping the resolution same for all the data and the output extent use layer extend again this one build up area reclassified click on ok 
here name the output raster file say gaussian filter total this is the total build up area that acquired from the uh, gaussian filter okay save it then run it close it this is our gaussian filter total our next step is to normalize the gaussian filter so in order to normalize this we will use this raster calculator from the raster calculator i am selecting built gaussian filter this is the previous one divided by gaussian filter total type here bracket output layer name the output layer normalized gaussian filter with the help of this we actually normalize the uh, value and click on ok this is our actual data and this this is the normalized value we will create now the final population raster with this normalized gaussian filter uh, data okay so for this go to again the raster calculator then i'm selecting this one normalized gaussian filter and into this is the population raster temporary that we calculate uh, previously and name the output layer this will be the final population raster save it and click on ok now our next step is identify the population exposed to flood the flood has that reclassified this is the total inundated area and this is our final population raster with the help of these two layer we will identify the population exposed to flood so for this go to raster calculator okay it's like this final population raster multiplied with this flood hazard reclassified close this bracket name the output layer here the output layer will be the population exposed to flood now click on ok so these are the population that are exposed to flood hazard now our next step is identify the affected people in the corresponding boundary with the help of journal statistic so for this again here select this journal statistic choose this one population exposed to flood raster band band one and the vector layer select this boundary Bangladesh boundary and output column name actually the field name is the affected people in the statistic again select only the sum then click on run go to the shape file attribute table now you will find this field affected people this is the total population this is the affected people now we will identify the percentage of people affected okay so for this click on here field calculator and the uh, output field team percentage affected and the output field type let's choose the decimal number real here from the field and value uh, divide this affected people by total population
and multiply it with 100 after that click on ok so this is our affected people percentage ok now save it and close it let's remove it okay. now click on this shape file go to properties and then go to symbology then from here select this grad graduated in the value field select the percentage affected here choose this one simple field choosing this color and classes 5 click on here classify in the legend format change this legend format now you will find this type of legend after that click on apply stroke color let's say this one click on ok ok now we have this information you can also add the base map from here if you do not install it you can install the plugin from here go to the plugin management and install you have to type here quick map service this one you have to install this plugin uh, when you install that plugin you will see this from here you can add base map let's say um, I, I want to add the google hybrid map from here you can turn on the label single label let's turn off this base map and go to the new print layout okay. exposure map click on ok select the new map to the layout select this one and here now add the legend from here this is our legend select this legend choose only show the item inside the link map item text change the name here affected population population affected population percentage you can also add the not sign from here and scale information and this is the scale information from here population okay. you can change the font from here select this bold one bold okay and size this one is okay in the center in the mid
now you can export this map you can export it as pdf or as image file exposure map to save it so this is our final map thanks for watching this tutorial you can consider subscribe to my channel for more tutorial like this